Welcome guys, this is Void of Dust Gaming and this is your channel for Arena of Valor guides and gameplays and today we are going to talk about Aram. As you can see I happened to end up in a match with um, diamond players and I was wondering can I stand up to this? I, am I as good as those players and I can tell you right from the start the game went Pretty well. Um, th for the guys who don't know Aram, she was supposed to be one of the strongest level 1 characters and today I'm going to play Aram in the support role and I think that is fitting her really really good. Um, let's talk about the setup. Like at this point you have seen me standing around in a brush that is because we wanted to protect our jungle from the enemy jungle and I'm in the thick of things already at not even one minute into that game. Hayate came to help me out and the cool thing is we managed to get every single bit on the new hero, Caffany and as a matter of fact, I just hit her with my with my two and that was like the craziest thing that I have done in certain games and I can tell you this game is going to be crazy. This is one of the craziest games that I have ha ever played because I killed so many enemies as a support that it's not even funny anymore. Um, you can see my build here, I'm building pretty much support tank. There is nothing that causes damage, but you will still see how capable Aram is of dishing out damage because of her abilities. And we are going to talk about these abilities in a minute. And I can just advise you guys to get uh, the second ability maxed as soon as possible. It is your main source of damage. And unfortunately, I don't know what happened. But I just saw that Caffney was kind of AFK-ish and I had to take this opportunity to kind of damage her down and I did not pay attention to the map or you could not really tell but now everyone in the enemy team is coming down to us. I defeated her but unfortunately the whole enemy team wipes the bot lane. And uh, that is always a crazy situation. Like, uh, you don't want something like that to happen. But nonetheless, we are still sitting on a 3-3. And our Ryoma is doing pretty good throughout the lane. Uh, the laning game. He will be the MVP in the end of the video. So, as this is not going to be a quick guide or something like that. I still want to talk about the abilities. And I still want to talk about my equipment. Because I think it is useful for you guys as Aram is, I think she's probably one of the stronger supports in the game at the moment and I just love her so much, like this this skin, look at that, like I'm able to grab her Hayate is not able to score the kill but I have finished it, like I try to not kill steal that much um, and I know that um, assists are worth um, as much as kills, I mean you have to have them but look at that, like I'm able to defend off a Xanus. Like one of the strongest heroes in the game, especially early game, because of his massive amount of damage. And I'm here and Xanus has to withdraw. And there's Xanus again. And look at that, like that scene, that is a counterpiece to that game because Xanus is dead. Xanus is, is not there anymore. And Aram is the one who caused it. And now I'm on to taking Baldum. And Baldum's gone again. And we are sitting on an A3 of which I have caused five kills on the enemy team. That's how crazy good Aram is if you let her. So let's talk about the abilities as we are finishing off that Abyssal Dragon Kratos. Um... Aram has a really strong sustain, which comes from her first ability mixed with her passive, and that's Lion Tamer. Like the, the ability is called Lion Tamer, and um, what basically happens, and you can't see that with, uh, with the skin, um, or it doesn't match the, the wording, 
I have three bells flying around me because I have bought the super expensive, I don't know how it's called, I think it's the Miko skin, the, the, the Japanese one. And the Miko skin causes uh, bells, but usually you will have like three um, lion heads flying around you. And these lion heads, as soon as they hit an enemy, they will deal damage. And combined with the passive, they will not only deal damage, but they will also heal you up for a little bit. Like that is your that is your ability. And you can see that like that, like um dum dum dum, there we go. <laughs> Sen is dead again, and I'm sitting on a 7-2. Like how crazy is that? So every time one of your lion heads or bells or whatever skin you have hits an enemy, you will be healed up by just a little portion of your health. It's some kind of calculation that you can read if you check out Aram's abilities. And um, that is key to success. Like, I don't know about it yet, but in the past, before that patch has been released, um, Aram was supposed to be one of the strongest invaders, as she could basically just stand inside the enemy uh, camp, like the, the jungle camp, and just being able to deal damage to the minions while healing up. And that was just so strong. Like, her abilities basically mean the more enemies you will see and the more enemies are inside your range of your lion heads or your bells, the more damage you deal and the more life you will get back. And note, and that's quite, um, I don't know if it's different, but it's quite useful to know. Every time these hit, life seal arcana are not calculated into their damage. So you can't mix arcana with that. And that is something that is special on Aram, as I know that many majors are using that uh, green arcana. I think it's a green one, which um, gives you health back, and that does not stack on Aram's ability. So keep that in mind if you want to play Aram. You might just want to choose one of the health stuff or something like that. Like right now, I'm using um, a mixture between 10 arcana that are using um, violate. And the other ones are Benevolence, and the third one is... I forgot it. I will put it down in the description of the video so you, that you guys know what I'm talking about. So this is the combination of your first ability, and that's really, really strong. As you can see, I'm able to withstand so much damage, and unfortunately I get killed, but I take the Baldum with me because of my two, and I think the two is now the thing that we should talk about. Your two is basically a triple area of effect damage that is causing slow, slow stun. That is the, that is the kind of um, combination that you will set up as soon as you unleash it. And what's going to happen is you place the template on the map and from the point of origin where you place it and where you stand, a lion will jump on the first template, the second template and the third template. And every time it hits, it will not only cause damage, and it's massive damage, like a bomb. It will cause damage, and it will also inflict a slow on 50% uh, on the first hit. The slow on the second hit is a nice 90%, and then there will be a, um, a stun at the end. So you should time it. You should try to time it that the um, point of origin happens to hit three times at all. Like three times is the, the way that you want to go for. And then comes the bread and butter to Aram. And that's key to success, how to manage her ult. Her ult is really special as I think none of the enemy or none of the other heroes has the ult in a way that Aram has it. So what your ult basically does is that your ult will keep an enemy in its place. That means the enemy is rooted. He can't move, he can't deal stuff with abilities and things like that, but he will be um, put into place. And that is special for you because that's what, what you want to use because it's causing massive damage. And the, how the, how the death damage is calculated is special. Every damage that you are facing, like all the damage that the enemy team does to you is reflected on the enemy that you rooted with your ult. Uh, let's see, yeah, there you go. That's, that was a perfect example 
I rooted Darcy or whatever it was, and the damage that the, that the enemy team inflicted on me was transferred to him, and vice versa. If your team attacks the enemy that you have rooted with your ult, all that damage is deflected to you, which means you want to try to hit an enemy that has his team around him, and the best way to execute your ult is to have a team which doesn't attack the enemy because otherwise you are going to be dead. And my tip would be, or my recommendation, would be to only root enemies who have less health than you, which you can see um, checking out that bar, like how many green um, bars he has. Or on the other hand, if he's an ADC carry or something like that who hasn't that much health, like Tulans, um, Tulans are really nice because they're quite mobile, so you want to keep them in track anyways. Tulans, Yawns, Talonasses and stuff like that, or even this guy. If you manage to keep him with your ult, all the damage that he will cause by using his kind of stuff, all these particle effect things, he will deal the damage to himself. So you can stop a Darcy pretty easily by ulting at the right time. And what I'm doing to maximize Aram's effect, I'm using her as a super tank, like I'm only building the support item and I will have Gilded Greaves, Herm selected or something like that, depending on how mobile my team is and if I need to be in different situations. And afterwards, I will only buy tank items because it maximizes your ult. That is my recommendation for Aram. Mm, so, as you can see, we have played 11 minutes, we are standing at a 29-14 and I have been um, participating in at least 17 kills via this match. That is how good Aram is. Now we've got the Xanus and the Xanus is dead because I ulted him. I don't want him to attack my Hayate. That would have been really, really bad. Baldum does a good move on moving out of my ult. Uh, out of my two, but the, the two, like if you build Aram um, as a mage so that she stacks up with damage, your two is just wiping out entire teams if they are not building armor. That is how good Aram is. She's crazily good. I love her to death because she has everything combined. And now I'm, I'm rooting Baldum and unfortunately the damage was not enough but the damage was sufficient to get him so low that my team was able to kill him, and that is the game. And you will see how good Aaron was in the statistics, because the only one who was able to surpass me is the Rioma. And I will put my equipment down and I will put my Akana down so that you guys can copy it if you want to play it like that. Beautiful skin, super strong hero, lovely ult and stuff like that. I think she is a must-have. That is how I feel about Aram, and you guys are going to see the results right now. Um, I know I'm a master on Aram, like I play her a lot because I really, really like her. I added all those guys because they were so good. That was such a fun game to play. And if you want to play with me, just add me in game and we will make it work. 13.4, that is my score. That is how well I executed this and 36 Point zero damage and that was how much damage I was just getting so guys thank you for watching I'm void of dust gaming and if you want to subscribe to my channel check out that symbol thank you very very much for watching